In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite setups from the Trips Tied In offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, like I said, we're gonna be talking about the Trips Tight End Offense. And if you have not already gotten my Trips Tight End Offensive Guide, let me just tell you right now, it is really, really, really good. And you can get that offense for just $10. You might've noticed that in the last couple of weeks in the Madden community, if you're watching any of the competitive uh, circuit right now, what you're gonna notice is that a lot of people have shifted to this Trips Tight End specifically for the power of a couple of different running plays that it possesses, as well as some of the best passing concepts in the community. So if you want a very balanced offense, an offense that will just simply dominate people from several different perspectives, you can get that in that trip set in offense. Like I said, I have a full uh, guide on that in the description below. You can get that for just 15 or for just $10 actually on the trip set in guide. And in this video, we're actually gonna be talking about the play PA counter go and how to leverage this passing concept. Um, this concept is super, super glitchy. It's super effective. It's very good for zone drops and different things like that. Um, but really quickly, I did wanna go over just briefly um, this little quick base. So this is the default run audible down and the trips tied in within the New England Patriots playbook. It's why I think that the New England Patriots playbook is the best playbook in the entire game uh, as far as from if you wanna run trips tied in. But all you're gonna do is you're just gonna ID this blitzing guy right here, and then you're just gonna do a little stop and go, and you will find a ton of success with this run. This is something that you want to consistently pound. If you're running this offense, this is a very difficult run to stop, especially if you're patient with it, especially if you do some stop and goes and mechanics like that, you are going to find a lot of success. You can do all kinds of things with this run, but it's very difficult to blow up with the user and that's why it's so good. And so as you kind of move through that, we're going to show you first how to beat uh, Mike Blitz 3 out of this. This is one of the most popular defenses that you're going to face online um, if you're playing MUD or even if you're playing in competitive mode. Uh, I think it's probably the number one defensive call of the season so far. But PA counter go. How we run this to be effective? How can we use this play? Um, and really, we don't have to make a ton of adjustments. We honestly really don't. Um, there's a there's several different ways in which you can run this play um, and, and what I'm going to recommend is I'm going to recommend that you simply take this tight end right here and put him on a streak just like that the X receiver is going to go on a streak. Okay. And then what I'm going to do and recommend with the running back is putting him on a wheel route. I actually really like the wheel route, especially when we're talking about Mike Blitz 3 and things like Mike Blitz 3. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take this square receiver on the left side here, and we can do a lot of different things with him if we want to. We can put him on a hitch if we want to do that, uh, but basically any kind of underneath route, whether it be a drag or a hitch um, or even a zig route will be effective. For this, the purposes of this video, what we wanna do is we wanna to try to time this motion snap. So we're gonna put him on a drag and we're gonna just basically kind of snap him right as soon as he passes, like right there. And what you're gonna notice here is if they're running a lot of Mike Blitz 3, it's very likely that you're gonna be able to throw that route with a lot of consistency to Devontae Adams. As you can see, um, it's gonna get open against zone drops. It's gonna get open against Mike Blitz 3. Let me show you, this is Mike Blitz 3 again. And we're gonna show you that same exact setup. So we're gonna drag the square receiver, we're gonna wheel the running back, and we're gonna streak the X receiver, which is the tight end. And if you watch how this concept works, you see that we've now opened up a, a pretty significant amount of space right here. And so if they're not careful, if they're not usering on that tight end, we are gonna work that little pop streak right there against the cover three defense. It's actually very, very effective, especially in this scenario. Now, really quickly, if they run a lot of deep halves, you'll, you'll run into people um, you'll probably run into people who will run a lot of deep halves on their like on their corners on the outside to kind of keep them from getting bombed against the cover three. You're going to see that it's going to leave this little tight end route super vulnerable. They're going to be very vulnerable to that. If they're doing that adjustment, you are going to have a lot of success beating that deep half. So I personally am someone that likes to do that. I like to deep half to the short side um, against trips tight end. It might not be the best idea. And the main reason why it's not the best idea is because of this tight end streak. This tight end streak is a route that you really do need to be aware of and be consistent with. Um, you see right here, it's very difficult to guard. You've got a nice little seam streak that you can work off of. 
Now, obviously what this is gonna do is it's gonna force their user to have to take, have to guard it, right? So their user is gonna have to be in a position where he's gonna be able to defend this. And so depending on, you know, kind of who, who the, the style of defense that you're playing, um, it's very likely that the yellow zone is gonna be on the left side. And so what that's gonna mean is if they jump to that streak, you can throw that little pop, little drag right there. I think J-Wall is very effective whenever he is able to do that. That read right there is so simple but it is so effective because it is very likely that if they're if they're playing a defense kind of like this right here, they might be able to drop a yellow zone over there. The problem with this is again, they're going to be climbing up the up the seam with this guy right here. So they're going to be having to guard the tight end. And then what's gonna happen is by the time they can get off of the tight end, your drag route's gonna be coming right in this little pocket. This drag is a great check down against zone. And the beauty of the trips tight end, a lot of people don't realize how, how well this formation does at attacking the whole field. It's one of the most underrated elements of this offense is that it's very, very effective at attacking the whole field and forcing the defense to really have to stretch itself horizontally because of these motion snaps you see that we really have you know, a very nice little almost spread style of offense. Now, if you take a look at this route on the left side here, um, this is specifically for zone drops. As you can see right there, um, it basically is a smart routed out route. It's practically how it kind of works out. Um, if you wanted to, uh, if I go to the PA counter go here, uh, I just want to show you this one more time. So again, we're just going to kind of run this through and we're just gonna go to that Mike Blitz 3 Mabel coverage. And I just want you to watch this triangle route on the left side. So once we see that they're making all these adjustments to their zone drops, you see that this triangle route, nice little low ball, it's very similar to the route flood. It's a very simple little way that you can beat this Mabel coverage. It's one of the most underrated routes, I think, in the entire game. It's good against man, and it's also good against zone. Now, really quickly here, you notice that this adjustment right here is pretty much an automatic tell for when the defense is in man or zone. As you see, the corner, when he shifts over there like that, he's going to be in man coverage. And so we can use this little motion snap right here to be able to beat man to man, this little drag right here, a little quick throw, really, really simple, but really effective for being able to beat man to man coverage. One of the things that people don't realize, um, this is why I would not recommend playing man-to-man -man coverage, honestly, because a lot of people, um, especially against trips, because a lot of people are going to be using like this right here, and so they're going to have to basically take, you know, this guy and put him in man coverage, and then they're going to have to do something like that right there. You know, this is really the, the practically speaking. This is the, the number one way people are gonna defend something like this. And so they're gonna basically use her on the, on the right. They're gonna rely on that zone on the left. And so as you can see here, this crossing route just kills man coverage, just like that, especially if you have um, a good route runner like a Devontae Adams or something. And so people just don't realize like how powerful this offense really is. Um, and honestly, it's relatively simple to run. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of com complexity. Um, it really does. Now, I will say that this offense is very susceptible um, to different types of pressure that your opponent may throw at you. Um, it's not the best for pass protection, but if you can read the defense at a, at a fast pace, you can really carve them up with this offense. This offense is super glitchy. Um, it's super, super effective. Uh, it's really, really good at beating a lot of the meta because as you can see right here, within the 3-3-5 wide, there's a direct tell whether or not you're in man or zone, right? Based on where that corner is, that tells you a lot about the, the defense, whether they're in man or zone. You see that this little out cut right here does a good job of beating man-to-man -man coverage. And so the point is you're able to really force them out of that Mike Woods three, and you're going to force them into having to call things like cover four or cover two. And the beauty of this offense is once you force them out of like a Mike Blitz three type of situation and they start having to call things like Tampa two um, or cover two or things like that, you have the routes within this, within this, um, within this offense, you have the routes that you need uh, to just kill, um, kill a cover two style of defense. You have all the things, all the tools, um, in the tool belt that you need to be able to kill cover two. You have all the tools in the tool belt that you need to be able to uh, kill cover three. I mean, this offense is just super, super simple, but at the same time, it's super, super effective. And so if you want to get my entire guide to the trips tied in, where I literally walk you through not only how to beat every coverage, but how to call the plays in in a way that, you know, makes them fit well together. Not, not just a collection of money plays, but actually a scheme. 
and how you can go about you know really really dominating on the offensive side of the ball you can get that offensive guide for just ten dollars in the description of this video i want to thank you for watching and i want to invite you to our stream tonight at eight o'clock p.m eastern time we're going to be playing online uh, we're going to be playing probably subscribers maybe running some trips tied in so if you want to come see the offense in action you can come do that again thank you so much for watching the video it means a lot to me and if you would if you are interested in getting the guide you can get that in the description of this video for just ten dollars and i will walk you through exactly how to run the trips tight in at an elite level. Thanks for watching, and if you want to get the guide, it is in the description.